like the real, the real wolf in sheep's clothing, I think. It's just so smooth, and the engine is so nice, and I don't build it anymore, so it's rare. And it's just massively powerful. It's just... I think they had to build this engine in a C-Class. That would be funny, I think. That's a nice idea. Everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane Speed Show. So, new review of this very nice S65 AMG. I think this is the most exciting car to drive. I think if you like Mercedes, this is just the most powerful uh, example that you could buy. Also, one of the most expensive ones. So, let's have a look around this car, do a test drive show you some features I did a uh, W221 uh, before and S63 so the body is the same uh, that had a performance pack and different wheels but I think this is just a very nice example it's also a Designo uh, model so uh, very nice interior pieces so 2007 car 6 liter V12 let's have a look so 2007 car, done just over 100,000 kilometers. Um, very nice features. Standard is it's, it's a very big car. It's five meters and 17 centimeters long. So they came only in the long version, the S65. Nice badging on the back. Two tailpipes, a lot of sound, just very cool. So in the back, double glazed windows, nice shading. You can also uh, lower it on this side. Also with these buttons, you can also change the other side. The full features I did also uh, show you in the uh, S63 videos. I'm not going to show it in this one, but you can uh, you can change everything from this position. Also the roof, the back, everything. So very nice Alcantara headliner, two sunroofs. It's just a very luxury car. So. This is also very nice. This is also a Designo piece. I hope you can see it. It's a very, I think, what, what was it? It's Labrador Blue, no, something else. It was very, it's very special. Looks very nice. You can see also the front seat is ventilated and heated. It's all aluminium. It's not plastic. Feels very nice. Soft closed doors. Very nice. AMG on the doorstep. Also here you can open the trunk. The windows in the back, windows in the front. Free memory seats. You got ventilated seats heated. Some compartments. Armor can done sound system. Just beautiful. You got uh, keyless go, of course. So 
there's just a stop button over there. Uh, there is no transmission lever in here that's on the steering wheel. You can change it here. So it's a very clean dashboard, so there's not a lot to see here, so that is very nice. You also have um, massage sheets. You can adjust a lot of things here in, in here. Still you have the CD changer in here. A lot of features. The, the, the dashboard is digital. So the speedometer is digital, digital. the uh, techo is not digital, that's just uh, analog, so very nice, you've also got night vision, that sort of stuff. So it's just a very clean car, very nice to be in, it all looks very nice, it's a uh, light grey leather interior, yeah it's just uh, spotless, very good looking, so as you can see 100,258 kilometers, so let's have a look under the hood. Oh yeah, about the wheels. It's a 19 inch standard. I think this is also 19 inch, yes. Uh, August 2007 it changed to 20 inch standard, but it looks very good. It's a 390 millimeter brake setup in the front, but that's needed with a car that weighs 2170 kilos. In the back you got 365 and uh, also 19 inches. 255 in the back and in the front it's also 255 I thought 275 was standard I'm not sure about that so beautiful trunk is 560 liters it can be closed on the key or you can just open it by hand 560 liters nice boot space for uh, a big saloon like this you can just close it here again so M275 V12 uh, AMG, so you got uh, from this age you got two engines, the normal 5.5 liter, that was an M275 and you got an M275 AMG, that's this one, this is a 6 liter engine, almost 6 liter, I thought the 600 engine was 5513 or something, and this is uh, 9580 cc's, so uh, it's a stroked engine and the bore is 0.6 millimeters larger than the normal 600. So it's a uh, stroked engine. So this is all based on the old M137 engine that came in 1998 on the market. That was to be considered a bad engine. I don't think it is really a bad engine. There were some issues with an oil cooler and that sort of stuff. But it's, it's not that bad as people say. It's a very strong engine. That was a normal aspirated 5.8. So this engine... Uh, is uh, pretty reliable. There are some things that people really know about it. It, it is the uh, ignition coils. There's one ignition coil per side, and that is uh, uh, there are 12 spark plugs on each side. So there are some electrical issues with it. They can be very expensive. I thought it was 1,700 euros per coil per side. Uh, this car had one of those problems. It's changed, so this car is completely good now. So um, the other one was like an uh, O-ring underneath the oil cooler, but that is, yeah, in my opinion is pretty rare because you don't read a lot of them that they have it. So for the rest, uh, V12 by turbo, so we've got a turbo on, uh, on each side, uh, the exhaust housing and the, and the manifold is one piece, so it's a very tight, tight fit. If I can find a picture, I will put a picture on my website underneath this video, so have a look. So it produces uh, 612 horsepower and 1,000 newton meters. So it's just a really powerful car. It's just a beast. If you don't know what you're doing, you have to keep your traction console on all times. So it's all coolers in the front here. Also, the W221 uh, had an upgraded uh, radiator for the intercooler. So it's it's air to water. So you got two intercoolers per side. You can see it in here. There's an you can see there's an intercooler on this side, also an intercooler per side. It's all upgraded in the W221, so more efficiency. It's pretty packed. I don't think it's a very nice engine to do some work on, but uh, yeah, it's just. I think it's just a very nice piece of engineering. And uh, now in 2021, it's ending. So I wrote something uh, on the internet about that it's ending with the V12. I think they're still making them for the Maybach versions. But for the normal 600 I thought it was not available anymore. But I'm not sure about that, but that's talked about. So, beautiful. So I think we should do a very nice test drive in this beauty. So 
of clothes. Very nice. So let's have a drive in this S65 AMG. So for me as somebody who likes Mercedes and V12s a lot, this is like uh, a car that you should drive once in a lifetime for sure I think. So it's just, yeah, I think it's just an incredible car. So, uh, shifter is on the steering wheel, so you don't have a lever here. I think uh, it's only in the S-Class like that. It got a nice, nice rumble. So I drove a 221 before. That was the the S63. It was a uh, yeah. That's more noisy than this car. That's more like a, more like a hooligan. This is more like a gentleman's gentleman's car. I think it's just low RPM. It's so smooth. It's it's very quiet in here. So it's that's just yeah. It's just so nice. I think. <coughs> so, the um, bi Turbo V12 came on the market um, in 2003, I thought. That was also the M275 in the first, you got the M137. Uh, that was only a 5.8 liter, or only 5.8 liters. Bigger displacement came after the M120 V12. Uh, that was a multi valve. Then you got the free valve cylinder set up, which is the same as an M113. Uh, so this engine is based on an M113, if you see, first the M113 came and the 55 AMG, uh, yeah, the 430, so it's the same setup, and uh, put temperature down a little bit, <coughs> two intake valves, one exhaust valve, one camshaft, uh, very durable engine, so the uh, reliability is pretty good. Uh, there are some issues with the M137. Some people say they are unreliable. I think that is just not true. I think, but yeah, that's my opinion. I'll put the mirrors a little bit up. A very small guy drove this car, I think. So because there, the ignition coils. That's the biggest issue. A lot of people know that there's one ignition coil, coil per bank. Uh, you can have some electronic issues. Uh, they're very expensive, 700 euros a piece. Um, yeah, will happen every 60,000 60, kilometers between 60 and 90,000 kilometers. It's pretty common that you have a misfire. Two spark plugs per cylinder, so 24 spark plugs. That's a pretty big job to change them. So this engine is then based on the 5.5. Uh, so they lower the displacement. I think the crankshaft. Uh, it was the same. I thought it was in the 5.8, the same uh, stroke. Then they, they just, it was a little bit smaller, so it's an, the bore was a little bit smaller than in the 5.8, so you got a 5.5. And then you got this version that has a longer stroke and a 0.6 millimeter larger bore. Why that is, I don't know. They came on 5,980 cc or a 6 liter V12. Also a bi turbo. Uh, the difference from the uh, S600, which is also a fast car. I drove an SL600 also from Henk Groten. You can have a look on the website. I think, I don't know if it's still there or if it's sold, but otherwise you can see the video on my website. And the radio is going on. So, uh, that SL600 <coughs> I also drove. That's pretty fast. It's a f an engine that has a lot of torque from bottom end. It's just incredibly. <coughs> so this um, this one has a thousand newton meters in between 2000 and 4000 RPMs. It's limited because it has like 1200 newton meters, but it's limited to protect the transmission. Um, I think the transmission can easily handle that because, yeah, these transmissions are known to be very strong. You can remap uh, a normal S600 and get easily over 
1100 newton meters to 1200 newton meters that is really possible so they are really limited to protect the transmission but uh, what they also say is from a thousand rpms it has 570 newton meters 1500 rpms you have already 750 newton meters so it's when you push the throttle from idle it's like a flatliner to the top to the moon it's just incredible so uh, horsepower between 4750 rpms and 5100 rpms is 612 massive number so it's also uh, yeah it's just so nice to drive just with it so, so you can also easily feel that it's just there's just a lot of power i really like to see the uh, total position sensor how much throttle you are giving so uh, five speed transmission old setup all the other cars had already a seven speed transmission this is still a five speed Y because the five speed is just very strong a 722649 I think that's the code for nine that was it's the same transmission as the S600 I think they did not really much different there are people saying you're with different solenoids in a different plate so this transmission has the most clutch plates in it it is the same uh, ratios as all the old V8 and V12 transmission from off 1995 it's all the same it's very strong uh, there's nothing known that somebody ever destroyed this transmission that's not known uh, the gearing for sure not maybe some people worn out the plates but it's just a very strong transmission the most common failure with the transmissions is the <coughs> is the electronic uh, control unit that's in it it's very simple plate not not very expensive to change so uh, yeah this thing is just bulletproof I really love it it's just read fast I just pushed it a little bit uh, it's in sport mode I have also manual so let's shift it Second gear, 3000 RPM. It's pretty fast shifting, also. Also, the acceleration is also uh, pretty massive. So, you got uh, the manual spot and comfort mode. Uh, comfort mode is just easy uh, shifting fast shifting so I mean not high RPMs it's just you don't need it in this engine it's just yeah it's just so powerful thousand newton meters just massive uh, weight is 2170 kilos that's empty weight so ready to drive that's with a half a fuel tank and <coughs> a middle sized person I'm not that I'm 100 kilos so let's say uh, 80 kilos and a half a fuel tank then you're around uh, 22, 2250 kilos or something. That's uh, ready to drive and empty 11, uh, 21 on 70. I think that's not that that much weight because if you look to an old W140 X600, uh, that way 2190 kilos. So that's uh, likely the same. So that's also a big tank. So very clean car, design interior, everything is electrical in here uh, I think the interior colors are very nice you also see sometimes the they have like woods everywhere yeah personally I don't like that I think but yeah that's pretty it's very personal that people have like an orange like wood in here completely white is also nice but personally I would not take it I think this is very nice and uh, fully black I also that's my personal opinion I really like that so this car is also ABC suspension uh, so hydraulic suspension so it controls body roll in the corners it has a lot of sensor like I for 13 sensors in the car that uh, controls the, the body roll so it has no stabilizer bars in the front and in the rear um, that's also adjustable you can put it in sport mode have a look where's the button from ABC sport I have to look for that I will find it so uh, it also nice with the AMG uh, clutch you can see the oil temperature and coolant temperature it's just uh, very nice the 
timer. I thought you could also put kilometers on it. I'm not for sure if I can get that. Not change it. So I think we should do uh, a little sound check and an acceleration test in this uh, very nice car. Let's have a look. So zero to hundred should be possible in four point four seconds. Some people mention four seconds. It should do zero to two hundred in thirteen point three seconds. That's really, really fast. And it's limited to 250. That's too bad, I think. Why oh, should you do that? This car can do, it's fat 360 kilometers on the couch. Yeah, and what they say, it's a gentleman's agreement. Mm. Okay. So, let's have a look how good this car can accelerate from 0 to 100. So let's have an acceleration test. Put the transmission in S mode, you can see it over here. So there's no launch control, we just floor it and see how good this goes. So if you like this car, don't forget to look on the website of henkgroten.nl. Link is over here. Below the video you can also have a look on jnspeedshop.com. That's also linked to Henk Groten, so have a look there. They have a lot of nice cars for sale. Uh, the collection is changing, so uh, they always have some nice cars to, uh, for sale. So have a look on the website, also this car is for sale there. So it has done just over 100,000 kilometers. Uh, very nice uh, interior and Ausstattung. So uh, is the collector car? I think it will be because the V12, like a normal, uh, yeah, it's just you see a lot of brands they stopping building big displacement cars. I think also if you look to the, the reliability of this engine, I think it's. It's better than you ever look to the S63 MD with the 5.5. It has some issues with the cams and that sort of stuff. I think it's not. I think that this car is maybe more reliable. What is the fuel usage of the car? Yeah, factory. It's installed. It's 14.8 liters to 100 kilometers. <coughs> it's a 14.8 liters to 100 kilometers. I think that is not that bad for a car that is this heavy and six liters and 12 cylinders, two turbos. I think if you drive on the longer distances, then yeah, it's not that bad. I think that's one on 7.5, one on 8, yeah. If you had an older uh, car with a big engine, it easily does the same, so it's not that bad. And if you can afford a car like this, who cares? It's not one on 5, that, that's bad. This is then still pretty good, I think. So yeah, it's got a 90 liter fuel tank. Yeah, if you drive completely empty, uh, yeah, if you go all, all yeah, it's, it's still a lot, of, a lot of fuel. Yeah, but yeah, it's very nice. I think it's a very nice car. It's something where, that I would buy if I had the money for it. Yeah, very nice. So, uh, hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. Also do some projects and also reviews. If you're new to the channel. Have a look in the right corner for you. Right corner for you. Is my logo. Click on it. You can go to my main page. See the other, all the other reviews I've done, and also all the, all the other projects I'm building. And uh, if you want to have some questions answered, just leave a comment or send me an email. So thanks for watching, and see you for the next one. I'm going to get a super size from this car, and see you for the next one.